guys welcome back to my channel so today we are making meat bread or shaviet or meat buns these are delicious they are simple and they are easy to make before we get started let me welcome you to my channel this is your passionate food lover and you are most welcome please do well to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment for me thank you i'm going to start off by blooming my yeast so in one cup of milk i'm going to add one eight cup of granulated sugar one tablespoon of dry yeast and then give this a stir to make sure that everything is well incorporated i'm going to set it aside for my yeast to really really bloom and after some few minutes you can see those little bubbles forming in my yeast that means that it's ready to be used so i'm going to set it aside in a large mixing bowl i'm going to add two cups of flour into this and then i'm going to add just a pinch of salt you know to give it flavor and to, to make everything nice and i'm going to give it a little stir and gradually i'm going to add in my bloomed yeast i'm going to stir it around to make sure that everything is well incorporated i do not want my dough to become way too soft so i'm adding it gradually hydrating my flour as i go so i'm just adding one tablespoon of margarine into my mixture at this point my dough was hydrated but not really that much so i added about a tablespoon of milk to my mixture and then i mixed everything to make sure that every ingredient is well incorporated now it was time for me to transfer my my mixture into a flat surface so i lightly dusted my working area with flour and then onto it i added my mixture so this is a rich dough so as you start kneading it becomes messy but trust the process everything is going to get incorporated everything is going to come together so don't mind if it get messy at the start at this point my dough was smelling so so nice i don't know if it was the margin i used or but it was really smelling nice anyways guys <laughs> by the time this video is going up i have just two people to reach 1k i don't know how well this video is going to do it but i pray it's going to do so well thank you all so so much for subscribing to my channel you guys don't know how much you mean to me by subscribing so you guys are the real mvps god bless you so much and if you have not done so already please do want to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a video i upload once every week that is especially on saturday I'm just going to let my dough rest for about an hour for it to double in size. So in a lightly greased bowl, I'm just going to set my dough in, cover it up for about an hour so that it can double in size. And whilst that is happening, let's work on our meat. Just going to add some few spices that I found in my kitchen. You can use your favorite spice to marinate your meat. And then I'm just going to add about a tablespoon of vegetable oil give it a stir cover it with a clean film and then let it marinate for about 30 minutes and while that is happening it's time for me to divide my dough into smaller balls so now by this time my dough had risen about twice its size so i'm just going to work it for some few seconds and then go ahead and divide it into about eight balls eight smaller balls and then you know work it around okay guys i don't know if i've said this already <laughs> doing voiceover it's so difficult i mean it looks easy when you see other people's video be like mm, i can do that that's easy but child it's not easy sometimes you feel like the thing that you're talking about you've already said it you don't want to come out as somebody who keeps repeating herself but sometimes you i mean it it's it's quite difficult <laughs> anyway so i'm going to roll out my dough into smaller balls and let it rest for about an hour and whilst it's resting let's work on our meat 
I'm just going to fry it for some few minutes for everything to be well cooked and then into this I'm just going to add some diced onions you can use vegetables of your choice but child I just wanted to use onions because I had a lot of things that I was doing and into this I'm just going to add about um, two or three tablespoons of flour mixture it's just flour mixed with water to thicken everything up now that everything is done let's assemble our meat bread so i'm just rolling out my bone to to make it a little flat and then into this i'm going to add some like a tablespoon of the meat pinch the ends to make everything come together i don't know if you guys can hear it but my brother is playing like a jackson song so if you can hear it in the background excuse me i'm sorry but he's a diehard fan of michael jackson and i i do not know how to let him stop playing whilst i'm doing my voiceover so that's it <laughs> i'm going to repeat the same process for all the balls and then our dough will be ready or our meat bread will be ready i'm just going to proof this for it to also rise for about an hour and then after that i'm just going to prepare my egg wash it's just egg in milk give it a little stain after an hour look at how big our bands has got into so i'm just brushing it with my egg wash and this is going to go into the oven a preheated oven for about 25 minutes or so it's golden brown and our meat bread or our chaviette will be ready to be look at that i'm going to brush the top of this band with melted butter look at look at that it's so glossy so beautiful i mean <laughs> do want to try this and let me know how it turned out so it was time for me to taste it and then it was delicious guys thank you all so so much for sticking with me to the end of the video you guys are the real mvps we are almost at 1k subscribers yay god bless you so much for sticking with me to the end of your video i'll see you guys in my next video peace out bye